The Austin summer heat is on. And for Austin firefighters, responding to calls in extreme temperatures can be difficult. A time when heavy bunker gear poses an additional dilemma, according to Division Chief Eddie Martinez. The equipment we wear when we go inside a fire is very good at protecting us from the heat, but it's also very good at keeping our heat in. A firefighter's core temperature can quickly rise, increasing the risk for heat exhaustion. We have had three big fires in the last couple of weeks where we had to give IV fluid uh, two, three firefighters due to dehydration because they were working really hard at fires. This fire last week is an example of how AFD is dealing with high heat situations. The call out was upgraded. We didn't need a third alarm for the apparatus or because we needed more water on the fire. Uh, we needed the extra personnel to cycle through more people to get a bigger uh, work rest cycle. During the summer, crews are rotated into air conditioned fire trucks as part of a cool down protocol. CAT Metro buses can also be brought in to provide additional relief during longer firefights. New technology is also helping Austin firefighters manage a hot crisis situation. Air breathing systems now include a tracking and monitoring device. It allows me to not become part of the incident, part of the emergency. Firefighters like Rachel Lewis no longer have to stop working a fire in order to check a handheld gauge. The information is literally in front of them, inside their mask. LED lights provide a real-time status on airflow. Having that heads-up display is life-changing for me. I can work. I know what capacity I have to be able to work in. The air supply information is also fed to a nearby laptop, which is monitored by the incident commander. We have A and C air packs from engine two are both on, and each one of them has 4562 air and 4256 air. Not only does the pack tracker allow us to look at uh, what our air consumption is for our firefighters, if we had a catastrophic event, there's another piece of tool that's next to it that is kind of like a, uh, a detector. The handheld device looks for a homing signal, helping a rescue team. And then the closer you get, this goes up and tells you I'm getting closer to the air pack. The air pack system came into play during this house fire back in January. Four firefighters were briefly trapped when part of the structure fell on them. And that's something that could have turned into an easy line of duty death. But with the pack tracker and with the heads up display, that firefighter was able to see how much air they had left, how much time they had to function. That provides a sense of calm. It provides management. All of our fire chiefs with a sense of being able to find that person, know where they are, know how much air they have. That's huge. That's life changing.